Balancing Equations 1 by kscience.com H2 plus CO2 reacting to form HCO is the equation we're going to balance. The equation tells us there is one hydrogen molecule consisting of two hydrogen atoms, one chlorine molecule consisting of two chlorine atoms, and one hydrogen chloride molecule consisting of one hydrogen atom and one chlorine atom. A technique you can use to balance equations is to write out which elements are present on the left and the right. So there's hydrogen on the left and chlorine on the left, and then hydrogen on the right and chlorine on the right. The equation tells us there are two hydrogen atoms on the left and one hydrogen atom on the right. There are two chlorine atoms on the left and one chlorine atom on the right. So we can see the equation is not balanced. Two rules that you must always apply when balancing equations are, one, you cannot add small numbers at any point to the molecules, and you can add big numbers in front of the substance. For example, you can't make the small two next to the hydrogen disappear and you can't just make it become a three or a four. You cannot change or add or take away anything with regards to the small numbers. But what you can do is add a big number in front of the substance. So you can put a big two or a big three in front of the H2 or CO2 or HCl to balance the symbol equation. This is because when we put a big two in front of the HCl, this multiplies the number of hydrogen chloride molecules there are. So this means there would be now two hydrogen chloride molecules. So when we then count how many hydrogen atoms there are, we can see there are now two hydrogen atoms and two chlorine atoms on the right. So now when we see if this equation is balanced, we can see we have the same number of hydrogen and chlorine atoms on the left and right so this symbol equation is now balanced. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Mg plus O2 reacting to form MgO is the next symbol equation we're going to balance. The symbol equation tells us there is one magnesium atom, one oxygen molecule consisting of two oxygen atoms, and one magnesium oxide compound consisting of one magnesium atom and one oxygen atom. So underneath we write out the elements and count how many atoms there are on each side of the equation. We can see there are two oxygen atoms on the left and one oxygen atom on the right. So if we put a big two in front of the MgO, this multiplies the number of magnesium oxide compounds by two. So now there are two magnesium atoms and two oxygen atoms on the right. Now the oxygen atoms are balanced, we now need to balance the magnesium atoms. So we put a big two in front of the Mg on the left, which means there are now two magnesium atoms. So here we cross this out and write a two to represent how there are two magnesium atoms on the left. The equation is now balanced. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Na plus O2 reacts to form Na2O. The symbol equation tells us there is one sodium atom on the left, one oxygen molecule on the left consisting of two oxygen atoms, and one sodium oxide compound on the right consisting of one oxygen atom and two sodium atoms. Underneath, we write out the elements and the number 
of each atom of that element on both sides of the equation. We balance the equation by writing a big two in front of the Na2O. So now there are two sodium oxide compounds. In total, there are now four sodium atoms and two oxygen atoms on the right. We then put a big four in front of the Na on the left. So there are now four sodium atoms on the left. Underneath, we write a four, so we can now see the symbol equation is balanced. Mg plus HCl reacting to form MgCl2 plus H2 is the next equation we need to balance. The equation tells us there is one magnesium atom on the left, one hydrogen chloride molecule on the left consisting of one hydrogen atom and one chlorine atom. On the right, there is one magnesium chloride compound consisting of one magnesium atom and two chlorine atoms and then one hydrogen molecule consisting of two hydrogen atoms. And then underneath, we write Mg, H and Cl on both sides and count up how many atoms there are on both sides of the equation. We can see there are two chlorine atoms on the right and one chlorine atom on the left. There are two hydrogen atoms on the right and one hydrogen atom on the left. So we put a big two in front of the HCl which multiplies this by two, so there are now two hydrogen chloride molecules. Below, we change the numbers, as there are now two hydrogen atoms on the left and two chlorine atoms on the left. The equation is now balanced. Li plus HCl reacts to form LiCl plus H2 is the final equation we're going to balance. The equation tells us there is one lithium atom on the left, one hydrogen chloride molecule on the left consisting of one hydrogen atom and one chlorine atom. On the right, there is one lithium chloride compound consisting of one lithium atom and one chlorine atom and one hydrogen molecule consisting of two hydrogen atoms. So underneath, we do the same as we always do, which is to write out all the elements and count up the number of atoms of each element on both sides of the equation. We can see there are two hydrogen atoms on the right and one hydrogen atom on the left. So we put a big two in front of the HCl. This multiplies the number of hydrogen chloride molecules by two. So there are now two hydrogen atoms on the left and two chlorine atoms on the left as well. We can see there are two chlorine atoms on the left and one chlorine atom on the right. So we have to put a big two in front of the LiCl, which multiplies the number of compounds by two. So there are now two lithium chloride compounds. In total, this means there are now two lithium atoms on the right and two chlorine atoms on the right. From our tally below, we can see there are now two lithium atoms on the right and one lithium atom on the left. So we have to put a big two in front of the Li. So now in total, there are two lithium atoms. So below we change this to two, and now the equation is balanced. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.